Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is my favorite day of the week. It is Sunday. Today, um, I started the morning off with Zumba, and then I got a few little things done. I got ready for the day, had a nice shower. It's kind of like a rainy, gloomy Sunday, which is honestly fine. It kind of fits the vibe of like a Sunday, you know? If you follow me over on TikTok or Instagram, you would know that Zayn and I started doing our Sunday deep cleans, and so that is happening today. Usually, I come home from Zumba, we do it right away, but our schedules like didn't pan out today, and I knew I wanted to vlog. So we're going to do it when we get home from our errands right now. So um, if you don't follow me over there, then you're missing out because they're three minute videos of us like deep cleaning every Sunday. I really love them. I love the series and I love that it's something for like my Instagram and TikTok fam. So that's going to happen today. Outfit of the day is nothing quite interesting. It's just a sweatsuit. For, oh, that's good lighting. <laughs> it's just a sweatsuit from Boohoo. It's like a chocolate brown. I'm actually really loving it with this hair color too. And this is my first time straightening my hair. I only like curled it ever since I got it done. So I'm liking it. Although probably when I walk outside, since it's misty and nasty outside, it's probably gonna frizz up, but that's fine. I need my glasses and we're off to run some errands. And we're doing a really cute fall night. If you guys remember, Zane bought me a puzzle, a little cat pumpkin puzzle for my Just Because basket. And I think tonight we're gonna do a little fall night and make some apple cider drinks possibly and we are making broccoli cheddar soup so i have a target pickup to pick up i ordered it last night for our groceries so i'll show you guys a haul of that we have a lot going on we have to fill the propane tank for our um fire pit outside so we can use it over this fall season but i know i'm hitting you guys with a lot so let's start today we're gonna go grab lunch and do a few errands that's number one Let's go. First stop is lunch. We've decided to come to Smash Burger because Zane has a gift card, which I'm holding because I tend to go places and just forget to use the gift card. And that's the point of going there. We usually don't really eat here, but we're like, let's go, you have a gift card. So this is gonna be our little so lunch. Gash. What's up? Oh yeah, I didn't even, I haven't shown you yet. Know, <laughs> so rude, so rude of me. Unfortunate. I'm so sorry. What are we gonna do? They're also unsubscribing now. Oh. Yay! And we know we're cooking tonight, so balance. <laughs> I went with a classic burger with no cheese. Got a lot of toppings on there. It looks good. Zane got like a guacamole jalapeno or something. Yeah. You're back amazing. with but it's fine. And then we're sharing a fry. Yay! And we got our waters. That's just super good. <laughs> Is it? Did you give me this lighting on purpose? You sat me in front of the window. Yeah. It's perfect. Look at the you little, know I got you. The little flag is so cute. <laughs> it looks good. I haven't had this place in a long time. Is it, what this do you one's think? so good. Shake Shack or Smash Burger? Who wins? Mmm. It's a tough call. They're both really good. Mine's really good. I mean, I got the most basic burger, but now that I love the toppings, I love it. Like tomato, onion, pickles. Seriously. Put it all on there. I don't know what their shake sauce. No, shack, shack sauce. Smash sauce. I'm confusing them now. I don't know what it is. To me, it's, it's like... actually a little mustardy, which I don't, I'm not a huge fan of, so next time I'll probably do not. How are you already almost done? I've taken two bites. I'm so hungry. I know, me too. I went to Zumba and all I had was a little... 100 calorie breakfast bar. Um, I have to say, what? we haven't been there in like years, but it was so impressive. Oh, the burgers, yeah. That's so impressive, like I literally will go there again. Samesies. Like we really oh. were just like big fans of Shake Shack, but Smash Burger, it's you're different. holding a place. I it's enjoyed different. it. Shake Shack is like more fast foody, mm -hmm. and Smash Burger, at least the burger I had, and the one that you had, I just got the it classic. Like, it was like fresh. Yeah, all their like, like the tomato and the pickle and the lettuce. It was all like. Ugh. I told Liz it. It's almost like we made them homemade, kind of. At home, kinda. yeah. It was comforting. Also, we did it right. We got one burger each, and then we split like a small fry. Like that was the way to do it. We didn't overstuff ourselves. Like we're good. Anyways, so that was that. I forgot to take a picture of it, which was not cool. But anyways, now we're at um. The good old dandy pet snort. Today is our Sunday cleaning where we usually clean out the cat litter and stuff. And I was like, wait a second, we have no cat litter. So I'm gonna grab some cat litter. And then also um, I wanna clean the cat's ears. They're a little waxy. So I'm gonna get some ear cleaner from them. Cat mom things. Let's go. It's a Benji guinea pig. Baby, it's a Benji guinea pig. Look at him. No. He's got a little brown on his face though. I used to have two guinea pigs, you guys. They were so cute. And I named them Polly and Vinny from Jersey Shore. <laughs> oh no. Somebody hire me. Wait, marijuana. 
We did see this. We never got it. Marijuana. Wait, where did this just come from? I feel like that was a sign. It was on the floor. It's not actually marijuana. It's just... Look at this picture on the back. <laughs> it's a stoned cat. <laughs> it's a stoned cat. <laughs> go baby, go baby, oh, go, no. go. What? It's oh, it's broken. The last melon. We definitely should grab two though. Oh, 100. All right, just do the Febreze one, I guess. Look at the cum. <gasps> Wait, our cats need this one. <laughs> Benji needs this. This needs to be Benji, because you know what it is, Benji. Wait, what about this one? Look, multi cat. Extra strength formula for Breeze. Fights odor without the dust. This one's a dollar cheaper. I mean, we usually wait, get wait, look. the Febreze one. Excludes purine on. Oh, today only. Two days only. Oh, yeah. Wait, is today the 10th? Buy one, get one second. Yeah, <laughs> okay, did you do? Yeah, today's the 10th. <gasps> okay, cool. So we got buy one, get one 50% off. So pick whichever one you want then. Um, now we need Bailey's ear cleaner. Look at Zane's little face. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, the adoption? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at you. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. He got excited to see me. That's adorable. I found it. I found it, you guys. It looks like weed in a jar. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, find the stuff to clean their ears. Benji needs this. That boy's got stanky breath. Benji's, Benji's um, slobbery. He's like a dog. <laughs> oh, look at this marketing. Get buzzed. Get lit. Get baked. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, I found these. Ear and eye wipes. So we're gonna try those. In other news, will this fit Benji? Zane says no. Zane says no, don't get it. Not no, it won't fit. We're gonna make him like outside too much. He's gonna escape. He's not gonna escape. He's already trying. We pay attention. I vote keep the indoor cat indoors. That's my vote. I wanna try it. Although I think there is cat ones. This is a dog one. There must be cat ones. I see something. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. It's jingly. And it's gold. Can I preface something? What? To both you and the block? Yeah. The reason I'm so against it is because literally my childhood cat escaped. Oh, baby boy. Yeah, and he was gone for three days. Yeah, but we're wait. We days, won't let that happen. Freezing snow, and we got lucky. Literally, it was like a movie. I randomly had the urge to get up off the couch, check outside, and he was there meowing. Mm -hmm. And we brought him inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like if he wants to escape, it doesn't matter if he owns a leash or not. Like, huh? if he wants to escape, he'll escape. I know, I know but. Yeah. If you're training him, you think it'll entice to him? Outside. Yeah, I'm not gonna right. take him on walks, just in the backyard. He's gonna see the door open. He's gonna see <laughs> little Benji and just skedaddle outside and be like, we'll see you guys <laughs> later. Zane's an over preparer and an over worrier, which I do appreciate. I'm just not that way. <clears throat> it's gonna be a very interesting dynamic when we have children. That's how you know you're a good person when you put the cart back. I was saying that's how you know you're a good person when you put the cart back. Oh, yeah, I always put the carts back. <laughs> I stay in the car to get the Target pickup. Zane goes in Target. And comes back with what you ask? Yeah, nice. Comes back with two bags of fried chicken. If that's not the most Zane and Liz thing you've ever seen happen on this vlog channel. <laughs> Dude, it's air fried. I don't know it what it is. Amazing. I also looked it up to you. I think you can tip them. Oh yeah? Yeah. I didn't know if they would accept it, but I need to start doing that. That's awesome. I think you're allowed they, to. Uh, if they allow it. Yeah. That's if you guys cool. do drive up Target, because I'm starting to do it more often now. I tried to look for a spot for it on the app, because I never have cash, but there wasn't a spot for it. So maybe it has to be cash. Also on our way out, we totally forgot to bring the propane tank. So we're gonna save that for another day because it's rainy today anyway. So we're not gonna sit outside tonight, let alone will we probably get to it? Probably not. We are filling it and using it this fall at least once because we didn't use it once all summer. It was way too hot and rainy. Are we ready for a Target haul? Here we go. Tonight, like I said, we are making broccoli cheddar soup. So I had to get some sourdough bread. I'm gonna put some butter and garlic on here and make probably some garlic bread to go with. We also need onions. You just need them. Also, they're in the recipe tonight too. Some avocados. We definitely need some groceries. So this was needed. And it saved so much time by ordering it for the drive up pickup. Oh my God, also big news. We have a new sippy. The new and improved. This is from Amazon. It's like 20 bucks. It is 32 ounces like my last one was, except she won't spill. My other one spilled way too many times on me. So I was like, I need to get one that uh, I can't spill, especially because it ruined my laptop, if we remember that also. So I'll put her in my Amazon store. It's got a little handle and the straw pops up. So now she won't spill. Rest in peace to the old sippy. Air fryer fried chicken. Their olive oil was on sale Target. So I was like, let me just add it in the cart. We are obsessed with these sponges. I got them in the first place because they were aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> but now we actually like the way they look and they're better for the environment. They're made from plants. So there's that. For tonight's recipe, we're making like a 
healthier, lower calorie version of the Panera soup. So we're using, instead of heavy cream, we're using evaporated milk. And then we also needed vegetable broth. This sauce we just like when we're having a busy week. Tikka masala from Target. Some fresh broccoli florets for the soup. We don't need this many, but I wanted to have vegetables for the week anyway. And then what else? Carrots, cheddar cheese. We're gonna shred it up fresh these also just caught my eye this has nothing to do with anything but burrata lemon zest and herb raviolis it sounds kind of amazing not gonna lie so we'll make this like for an easy dinner with some chicken during the week and then some frozen peas i ordered this when i was half asleep so i accidentally got two bags one's target brand and one is bird's eye i think i added the bird's eye and then i was like oh they have target brand they're a little cheaper let me get those and then i forgot to take the other ones out but i'm not complaining i love these <laughs> and then i also wanted to try this this veggie pot it had good reviews and um it sounds interesting so we're gonna try that and last but not least from target i got these boots i don't know if they're gonna work but i thought they were really cute they're like a combat boot but they're like a beige color here's what they look like i thought they were just like a cute fall boot i have my black boots but that's pretty much it i needed like a lighter shoe for lighter outfits and sometimes the black boots can be like i don't know just like a lot in an outfit because they're so like dark so these can like really brighten up an outfit and if I'm not wearing like lighter colors, I don't know, they might be cute, but we'll see. I'll have to try them on. I like them, so. All right, y'all, it is already 3.30. So we're gonna quickly put away this Target stuff and then I'm gonna make our list for our Sunday cleaning and then we're gonna do that. I am going to um, just insert what I post on Instagram and TikTok for this week. I'm not gonna film it on my camera. What is happening with this lighting? There we are. I'm not gonna film it on my camera and on my phone. That would just be like a lot. So I'm gonna insert the three minute video of what I post on there. And if you wanna keep watching um, week by week, I'm gonna post it every week. You can go follow me on Instagram and or TikTok. Let's put this stuff away. Ready spaghetti. Yeah. Sunday, woo! I don't wanna clean. Just joking. I don't clean. So fridge or no? Pantry. You gotta vote for pantry. Hey, what the heck? Baby's so funny. She has her ears back. She's like posted on the uh, on the litter thing. You did this. This is Zane's new sippy cup, and I have a new sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> sippy. Sippy. sippy now, he, he was jealous of my sippy cup, now he's got his own. All right, let's make a list together, Reem. Okay, so I've been using actually this list from one of your guys' shops that you sent me. It's called Taipei so I'll try to link it. It's very my aesthetic, and we use it every Sunday to plan out what we want to clean. Well, I say every Sunday. This is only our third time doing it, but it feels like we've been I know. It feels like we've been doing this for way longer. I know. It feels so natural. Okay, so today is... I like it just as much as you, to be honest. It's a nice you do? first start to the week. Yeah. I like this trend. Yeah. We should make it... What's the opposite of a trend? What's, what's not a trend? Habit. A habit. Let's make this a habit. Routine. Routine. Mm. These are good words. These are good. All, all valid. <laughs> all valid words. I'm going to use the schedule section to write down our checklist. Go for it. So, we need to do the cat litter. Cat litter. <laughs> we need to um, do the dishes. That we do. We need to do the counters. I also, we have not done this yet. We need to wipe down the cabinets. Uh, laundry. We need to do laundry, including towels and our bed. And... Vacuum. Tidy up all the rooms. Tidy. I don't know if you want to write them all individually or just... I'll just put tidy rooms. Um, dust um, fan. Oh, we need to dust our bedroom fan. Yeah, it's pretty gross. And... Do we need to wet jet? Nah, I would say wet jet every other Sunday. Okay, and then... Yeah? Is that not enough? I don't know. People might, will say. Bathroom. Yeah, just do my bathroom duties. Yeah, it seems on bathroom duties. 
frame. I can't tell if you're in frame or not because of this. You're yeah, definitely it's actually half, pretty bright. You're definitely half in frame. I have to unpack. Are you going to do clothing laundry? I don't know if I could do all of it today because we're gonna do towels and stuff. But yeah. I'm definitely gonna try to do some for sure. Okay. And our thing is organizing the kitchen cabinets, but I'm feeling like we might save that for next week. Yeah. Like getting rid of things. We'll save, we'll that, save that for, that for next, next week because week, yeah. we already have a lot to do today. I agree. Oh yeah, we can't forget we're gonna do our puzzle and stuff later. And we wanna do our puzzle, which I think we should. We better get a crack at lack and yeah. 345, we could do it. Yeah, no. We'll I feel like if we'll we're be done by like six. Sounds like a freaking good ass plan. It does. It's a good <laughs> Sunday. All right, so insert what I usually post. You guys are getting the inside scoop. I usually only post it over there. It's exclusive. So. Not the exclusive. <laughs> no, because people have said like, oh, I hope you vlog this, da da da. I've, yeah. seen a, I've seen a few comments, but it's like, I want to keep it for just there. It's really nice because usually, like, on Sundays, I don't vlog. So. Um, I just come home from Zumba and I like stay in my workout clothes and we just clean and then I shower and I relax like it's a good Sunday So I usually don't vlog it. I like to keep it on the other platforms. It's like I like to separate it So make sure you go follow me over there. Okay, do it time to clean Actually, I might as well give you guys a little behind the scenes since I'm vlogging today So um, we just took like a little beginning clip so that I can make it like the cover of my TikTok. So we like decided to walk out walk in and like do a little dance and we did that and then we also took like photos for the cover so I can post it on my Instagram feed and it looks nice. So we just took those. Um, and now we're gonna start cleaning. I also really quickly wanna turn on these boots so that if I don't like them, I can go put them in the car for a return so that when we're cleaning, it's clean. Okay, baby, I need your opinion. I like to hear what you think. All right, see, I put your uh, jewelry. Oh, okay, um, thank you. Fire stuff. I feel like I should film you cleaning the bathroom because I never do. Yeah, go for it. Like a time. Oh, wait. I actually really like them, to be honest. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're dope. I need like a light boot. I only have dark boots. I like that style. You like them? Yeah. I like them a lot. I'm gonna go look in the mirror. They feel like they fit good, the they're size sick, six. They're sick, actually. Oh. Yeah, he wants a pair fan. for his own. <laughs> big fan. Well, I wouldn't really wear them with sweatpants, but people do. Like if I wore them with like leggings, or jeans. Oh my god, I'm scared. My vision's getting really bad. I'm like, I can't even see in the mirror. I need my glasses on. Okay. I think they're cute. They feel very comfortable too. I wouldn't wear them with sweatpants though. I still think they look good even with the sweatpants. To be some honest. people do it's wear. Like a vibe. Yeah, some people do wear boots with sweatpants. Okay. Can I just throw these in the wash or is there a particular. Oh yeah, let's start laundry. Oh wait, I got. I got a boot. Okay, bye camera. Sunday cleaning. Welcome back everybody. If you missed the first two, we do weekly cleaning over here. This week we had to do laundry. These little scent boosters, oh my god, they smell so good. We had to do towels, so I got that in. And the last two, Zane is like the designated bathroom cleaner and I haven't filmed it, but like honestly it was kind of boring, so like we're just gonna skip past that. Shh, Benji's cuter, you know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. Love you, babe. <laughs> You're both cute. He's just more entertaining a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, we moved on to the kitchen. I wiped down the tables, the counters. You guys know the whole nine. We tend to leave it a mess on Saturdays because I think we just know like Sundays are our days. So that's why it's kind of extra messy in these videos. But I feel like it makes it a little more entertaining. You know what I mean? Um, Zane also added some fresh litter into their boxes and he went ahead and did the mudroom. I don't remember what I was doing while he was doing this, to be honest, but we have to go in and vacuum their mat. They get cat litter everywhere, of course. Um, it's been a lot better since we've got the covered litter, but anyways, he vacuumed in there. I set a timer for the laundry, otherwise I will forget to switch it. So life hack, there you go. I also filled up my glass pitcher for the next day. This is from Amazon. There's a link in my bio to shop it if you want. It's 100 ounces and I just fill it up and drink it all day. So I know once I'm done with that, that's like my goal water intake for the day also very exciting I went to clean my KitchenAid and realized there was plastic that I never took off um, it's just one of my favorite things to rip off of things so it was a very exciting moment I had to share um, I also went in and deep cleaned the cabinets like they needed to be wiped down so I went ahead and did that and then I decided to Windex all of the mirrors I don't do this as often as I should so this was very nice because how many times do we take mirror pictures and we're like, don't mind my dirty mirror. It's like, no, just freaking clean them, Alyssa. Um, so yeah, uh, I also had to unpack. I went on a trip to Boston. If you follow my YouTube channel, I vlogged over there. And then I had to hang some clothing items for a YouTube haul and we stripped the bed to wash all of our sheets and pillowcases. Zane went ahead and vacuumed the living room. I dusted our fan in the bedroom that really needed to be done. Um, and then I went ahead and folded all of our towel laundry. Ugh, 
so refreshing that needed to be done so bad. And since I did towel laundry, I finally washed our fall towels. This took me way too long to get these to look right on here, so we're just gonna skip past that. Okay, cute. Um, we checked everything off of our list. Next week, you guys, we're organizing the kitchen cabinets. It's gonna be amazing. Look at our soup. Panera broccoli cheddar copycat with garlic bread sourdough. Oh my God, it was so good. And then we went ahead and made our bed with the fresh sheets. The duvet cover is always a struggle. <laughs> um, but we've, we've found a trick. You like turn it inside out and like grab the sheets, whatever. Look how cute and cozy. Hope that you guys enjoyed and um, thanks for cleaning with us. Okay, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you head over and watch every single week. We are now candles lit, nice and clean. It is 7.30 right now, but we did finish like 35 minutes ago. So almost like seven o'clock. It took us a while, but we got a lot done and it feels so nice in here. So it is now time to make some broccoli cheddar soup and some garlic bread. Sounds amazing. I'm so hungry. So let's get this done quickly. Let's get all of our ingredients. Obviously broccoli, obviously cheddar, some carrots, an onion, my light so you guys can actually see. All right, I've got the recipe here. Say made an apple drink. It has a little cinnamon stick in it. That's so cute. Is it good? Try it. You tell me. Too strong? So here's the problem. And super hey guys. sweet. I just, I'm not used to drinking like drinks like this anymore. Alyssa got me for Christmas, I think, or birthday something. She got me um, Christmas. The box. a thing called Shaker and Spoon. It's like a company and they Ooh. send you uh, subscription like alcohol products and stuff. Basically, I had leftover apple cider. Thought, why not try to combine it with apple whiskey? No, it tastes good. It's just very strong and sweet. So here's but the thing. But it is good. I only have like a little bottle of apple cider. So oh. like, so yeah, it is super strong. You could add some lemon juice to it, I think, because some recipes call for lemon juice. Or you could try adding uh, lemon sparkling water on top. Oh, I'm down for that. Yeah, you don't like strong drinks. I actually thought that yeah. wasn't that strong, but well, I, also I am a psychopath. Like I think this is super sweet by itself, so I don't care that it's strong. Oh, you're interrupting my show. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just playing <laughs> around. But yeah. Oh, this is much better. It makes it better for you? Yes. I know you like the club soda-ish taste. Mm -hmm. Sparkling water. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm, I'm just kidding. using what we got. I used to, you know what, I'm really growing up. I also drink seltzers now. Mm. Should drink at my workstation. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired too, I want to make this fast. All right, let's get it. Are you gonna be my sous chef? I'm gonna do what I can. Okay, ready you guys? I'm gonna have the recipe down below, but two tablespoons of butter, half of an onion, two tablespoons of flour, one cup of shredded carrot, three cups of vegetable broth, 12 ounces, oh, this is 12 ounces, perfect. 12 ounces of evaporated milk, two cups of fresh broccoli. That'll probably be only one bag, but I wanted broccoli. And then it also says a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, which we don't have. And I did read in the thing, it says even if you have like dry spice to not use that like basically just omit the nutmeg as a whole so we're gonna just omit it um seasoned salt do we have seasoned salt we do okay Pretty sure we do. and then four ounces of sharp cheddar a quarter cup of grated parmesan and salt and pepper to taste very simple and then i'm gonna do some sourdough with butter garlic butter on it in the oven so that's what we're, that's what's going down i can't even speak we've had a day not really we just cleaned all day but oh we ran errands we both just got horrendous sleep last night. Oh my god, I don't know what was going on with us. Mercury's in retrograde, I guess. Mercury's oh. in Gatorade? Mercury's in Gatorade. We were just tossing and turning all night. I literally woke up at 1 a.m. Could not go back to sleep. So I've been up since 1 and it's 7.30. You're not. And I was trying to go to sleep. My body wasn't letting me. And then you can get like our soup bowl. Our soup pan pot. <laughs> huh? The soup pot. The big pot. Get it heated up. I'm gonna dice this onion. Peel my onion. Oh my god, we haven't eaten, so my that drink is just wow. I love the smell of onions, man. Oh my goodness. I know. Okay. Oh, I could be using the slap chop. True. It's fine. Cut onions like a champ. This onion was naked, by the way, in our bag of onions, and I didn't want it to go bad, so that's why I'm using an onion that is already peeled. <laughs> All right, this pan can go on a medium. By the way, if you guys hear screeching behind me, we're watching tennis. Are you crying? A bit. Don't cry. There's so many hacks, and everyone comments them every time, and I never do them, like a wet paper towel or whatever, or keeping them in the to be fridge. Honest, I don't normally struggle whenever I 
the regular cane that do cut onions? It, it just depends. It depends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Then we're getting two tablespoons of butter. One, two. Amazing. This can go back in the fridge, sous chef. Cotton. Thank you. Okay, so we've got our pot going. I want to get like a cast iron, kind of. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like one of those with the lid. And like people keep it out on there. I gotta get one of those. It makes soup in it. Okay, two tablespoons of butter going in. We're gonna melt that down. While that is melting and heating, we're gonna shred our cheese and our carrot. We only need four ounces, so I'm gonna cut this in half since it's eight ounces. Then I'll shred all of it and keep some of it for the week. That looks about even. We're gonna use the KitchenAid to shred the carrots and the cheese. I'm gonna use this guy. Oh yeah, I've washed that before. <laughs> You get um, like two little bowls. So fancy. One for me. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, that's good cheese. That's really good. That's Target brand. Oh! Cheese is so much better from the block. I didn't put the thing back in. So much better from the block. Right? And Jenny from the block. And it melts better because bag cheese is just like, you know, like coated. It's coated. Yeah. It doesn't melt as well. Ew, carrots. Bunch of business. I'm just joking. <laughs> we gotta go back over here. Dude, I love cheese. Me too, it's so good. Oh no, our butter's burning a little bit. Okay. Alright, what's up, what's up? Onion going in. Stir, five minutes, translucent. Sounds like French onion soup. Ooh, it smells amazing. Wow, it's just onions and butter, man. I know. So good. Where's the spoon hole? Well, you've washed it, right? Yeah, I did. It's up top. Ever since we made those bad cookies with bad flour, I'm always like checking it. Okay, we're good. Anything that starts with a base of onions and butter is gonna be good. Three cups of vegetable broth, so I'm gonna pour that in here. A sheet for the garlic bread. How many pieces of bread do you need, babe? How many are you having? I was gonna do one, but realistically, I'm probably gonna wanna eat two. <laughs> All right, so just make four then. Sourdough. My favorite is the Trader Joe's sourdough, but I wasn't going all the way there today. So this will have to do, but Trader, oh, can you get me a piece of parchment paper? Sorry, mm -hmm. Trader Joe's run has to be coming soon because I miss all my sorry, frozen sorry. stuff. Like yesterday, I literally was craving like chicken like dumplings and I love the Trader Joe's like frozen ones and, or like the pot stickers, whatever you want to call them. And I didn't have them, very sad. All right, onions are done. We're gonna do two tablespoons of flour and mix that in. It's gonna go for like a minute. Now we're gonna slowly add in the vegetable broth. Could do chicken broth too. We're gonna let that come to a boil. I'm gonna chop the broccoli. These are already washed and ready to eat, so I'm just gonna roughly chop up two cups. All right, it is now boiling, so here we go. Carrots are going in, two cups of broccoli, half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, and here's where you would add nutmeg. I'm gonna stir this all together, reduce it to a simmer. Sure, 10 minutes, starting now. Cover for 10 minutes. For the bread, I'm just chopping up some fresh garlic and melting some butter in the microwave. I did like three large cloves for the four slices of bread. I melted a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna just throw this garlic in there. <laughs> that was a mess. So we've got the garlic butter, some salt, some pepper. Okay, I lied, it definitely needed more butter. So I went with another half a tablespoon. I'm gonna spread that on. Okay, much better. Now we're gonna do some dry parsley and she's going in the oven. I don't know for how long, until it's nice and crispy. <laughs> All right, soup has been going for 10 minutes. Looks amazing. Can you see her? Lovely. Broccoli is definitely cooked through, so we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the steps. We've got the cheese. That was the cheddar and the Parmesan. Mix that in. Then the evaporated milk. That looks good. That looks like the right color. All right, that's gonna heat up for another two to five minutes. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Not too shabby. And now it says at the very end to season with salt and pepper to your liking. Zane and I like lots of salt and pepper, but I won't go too overboard just in case I overdo it. I'll let us put it on our own bowl, <laughs> but I'll mix in a little bit. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Don't bring me out the room. 
Mmm. That's some good stuff. Did I just get takeout from Panera? Wait, is this the copycat? Or yeah. No? It's just a lower calorie copycat. Like, I think Panera uses heavy cream. And this is like the evaporated milk. Wait, I feel like it's salted good too. Do you think it needs salt? No, it doesn't. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, this is so good right now. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That was genuine. <laughs> this came out good too. Oh, yeah. They like Texas toast. This is exactly what I wanted tonight. We have to do this more, especially with the cold weather coming. Mm-hmm. Remember when I made homemade tomato soup? That was good. Mmm. Yeah, I actually really like that. With the grilled cheese. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a very big soup person, but I do like broccoli cheddar. I take this over chicken noodle. I know you like chicken noodle though. I think I can't remember good. the last time I had a really good chicken noodle though. Like this is really good. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why we don't like soups because we never had like really good soups. I made the tortellini meatball one. Did you like that? Remember? Skinny taste? Probably. I don't even remember. I liked it, but I would probably rather just have meatballs and tortellini instead of in a soup version. Well, it's so good for the cold weather. It is, yeah. But I've come across on TikTok people that are like, like it's soup TikTok. Like people are obsessed with soup, like could eat it with every meal. Like I could never. Once I've in a seen while. Those TikToks. Yeah. Once in a while, sure, but not with every meal, no. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Their sourdough is good. Mmm. So good. Okay. Zane is doing the dishes, almost done. I just packaged them up in some leftover soup containers that we had saved from takeout. Tell me it doesn't look so official. Like, it looks like we got it from a restaurant. Like, hello, just came with two broccoli cheddar soups. Just came home. <laughs> I'm letting them cool off for a little bit, and then I'm going to put them in the fridge for tomorrow. Perfect serving. Also, Zane informed me that he's never had Panera's broccoli cheddar soup, which is interesting because this whole time I'm like, oh my god, the soup that we love. You know, possibly with you, like, a long time ago, like, when you in high school and like you go on little Panera days. You had to have had it at least once in your life. It's iconic. I probably had. To be honest, I just, I remember always getting my go-to order of Panera, which is like, I don't know, one of their sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it's called. And then the chicken, chicken Caesar, Caesar salad. salad is so good. Yeah, I don't ever really remember getting a broccoli cheddar, but I'm sure I've tried it with you at some You point. had to have. Because you said you've had broccoli cheddar soup before. And I don't think yeah, there's, there's any other place you would get it. Like it is, yeah. I've had it had to have been Panera. Well, anyways, it was absolutely delicious. And the sourdough was so good. I think we're tapping out for the night, though, honestly. It's been a long day, and we're just exhausted. We were up at, like, 7 a.m., so we've been up for so many hours. We were going to do our puzzle, but I think we'll just fall asleep if we try to do that. We need to start that earlier in the day, like, put on our show, have some snacks, and, like, relax and do that. If we tried to do it now, we'd just be forcing it, so... Puzzle, I know you guys were really wanting it. It's gonna have to be another day. That was sarcastic. Nobody wants to watch us do a puzzle. Hey, maybe you do. Who knows? Our sheets are in the dryer. I have to fold this load and then we had to put all our sheets on, which is the worst when you're tired. Like, this is the worst timing, but it's gonna feel amazing tonight. It's gonna be so nice. Fresh sheets are the best. Tis time to play the game. How many times do we put on a duvet cover before Zan learns how to do it? <laughs> That's so funny. Messed up. <laughs> I just don't like a duvet cover, man. Just, I'm a normal blanket kind of gal. Mm. A duvet cover? You love it. This is your favorite blanket ever. Don't even act like that. It is my favorite blanket ever. Yeah. But I would just be cool with just a blanket. I understand the appeal, though. No, this makes it feel like a hotel. You're such a hater. You know you love it. I'm not a hater. I'm just on two hours of sleep. No. You just said you don't like the duvet cover every time you put it in on. I, no, you're right. Yeah, I'm not a fan. But I understand it's like proper and stuff. It smells great. It's the laundry. Gotta go and be a big baby about it. it smells so it smells good. good. This shoe is definitely moist. I think some of them are getting trapped in the duvet cover, like I mentioned. You want to throw this in for like another two minutes? Alright, so then yeah, we'll throw it in. Let's see what else is a little wet. I'll put the. You didn't find the ball, huh? Not yet. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. Oh, you found the ball. I found the ball. Where was it? In here. Are you trying to do it solo? I'm trying. It's hard. Alrighty. No, baby. What? You're already doing it wrong. What do you mean? <laughs> I was just testing it. <laughs> what? Ow. Ow. Wait, why are you in pain? Ow. I have cramp. What? <laughs> Ow. Don't make me laugh. Okay. Okay. Hand in. All the way back We're to the corner. Town. Watch how good I am. Look at me learning. 
I know. Every time you do it, you do it to the nearest corner when it has to be the furthest corner. You got... <laughs> okay. Hold the corner. Me. Yes. And then just weave it through, right? Yeah, look at this. What a genius. Did you look this up or did you figure this out? I don't remember how I learned this hack. I learned it somewhere online. This is kind of genius. Yeah. No, this is very genius. Dude, if I was trying to do this and I didn't know this hack, I'd be here for hours. For stuffing so long. This. For so long. <laughs> I used to like roll inside of it. We probably are doing this part wrong, but now we just stuff it and then we just like try to make it look decent. What a great blanket. Ah, uh, now he likes it. No, it is my favorite blanket. I told you. I told you, yeah, no. I never denied that. We're gonna turn it over. This is where the paint is on. We need a new one. Well, the zipper on the bottom too now. True that. Ah. Uh, we can probably go get our stuff out of the dryer now. Okay, I'm going. No, we I'm going some right time. now. Yeah, sure you are. Uh, Oh, my sheet. Oh, we'll do it after. Por qué? Oh, I, mean, I just meant gay. <laughs> I'm just getting a clip. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. <sighs> Thank God that's over. Zane fell asleep. I'm about to use my massager. I just got this from Amazon. I need it for like my back and my legs and everything after working out. It like needs. Wait, let me see if I can turn it on. It's got like heating in it and it like needs. But I'm about to take off my makeup. Retainer's in. PJs are on. Bella is ready. Bella, look, my shirt looks like you. It looks just like you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I am back into cooking, you guys. I have to. Tonight was so nice. It was so good. Nothing like a home-cooked meal. So good. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.